the energy vibration and reading for the sun moon and rising aquarians i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back and again my apologies for all the people who reach out for a reading and i was unable to get your reading oftentimes and that sort of a thing welcome all newcomers i want to say thank you for being here and all subscribers thank you for supporting my channel i hope you will continue to do so this is going to be um a week of um your week because it's the a week of justice and the energy vibration of the week of justice it is a positive week for you air sign people um the zodiac energy is going to be water so hair and water it's, it's as if there is going to be a hurricane <laughs> so be aware of what is happening um your focus is the eight of coins so a lot of you will be working very very hard in this week a lot of you um, um, Aquarians are focusing on your work in this week your work is going to be the most important thing in this week as we look at the energy vibration for this week for you guys you have the ten of star the ten of wands you have the queen of swords your own energy vibration is in the reverse form so a lot of you people are working too hard you need um, to give it time again I want to say um, please listen to your Sun moon and rising sign the week begins from November um, 6 until November 12 please please listen to your Sun moon and rising sign it is very important and listen to um, the monthly readings the second week because there are information that is in the second week that might not be in this reading okay it is and it's going to be wonderful wonderful um, in the sense that you have um, the crowning of your read and the four of ones the four of ones is a situation um, you have a strong foundation you have a good foundation and you have the energy of the moon so the people who are psychic your psychic energy is going to be coming up and you have the nine of pentacles which is good which is an earth sign and the nine of pentacles mean financial stability because you're working hard which is good and then in the weekend you have the energy of the devil in reverse which is good and the eight of um, one so it is really a week of working for you and if it's if you're not working you're studying because and even if you are not full-time working things are going to be happening because what is happening here is that the ten of ones you felt as if you have a burden at the first part of the week and uh, as you move on um, on Tuesday you feel as if you, your energy is uh, is you know is is low and as you feel as if your energy is low you need to either change your diet or you need to find a time to rest whatever is going on you have a very very strong foundation and for the people who are psychic Thursday is going to be um, your your psychic is going to be very strong on Thursday Friday is a good day money will be coming in to you whatever the situation is money is going to be coming into you whatever energy that was there with the energy of the devil it is in reverse so a lot of help is going to be coming in and you are going to be receiving this help and a lot of information so let's see what else is here you have the nine of Pentacles twice so number nine energy and the moon twice Wow nine of Pentacles twice and the moon twice Wow that is something but you have you're working hard and the energy of the Sun so this is good in whatever way you look at this week it's going to be a very very good week for a lot of people whether you're working if you're not working and you're studying or you're looking for a job it's going to happen this week you are looking for a promotion it's going to happen this week whatever your plans in this week is is a yes go ahead and do that so 
let's look at your week and let's see if there's any question to be asked on Monday you have the energy vibration of a fire energy this is the energy of your feeling burdensome but not to worry because the energy of the nine of Pentacles so you could be working hard and that sort of a thing but it's as if you're planting a seed and it's going to grow and money is going to come to you so even if you feel as if you're so tired go on ask the universe ask your guides for inner strength to, to let you go on because it's going to bring you a lot of money whatever you are planning on starting then this week Monday is going to be a good day to do it and Friday on Tuesday you have your own energy in reverse that mean your energy is depleted you're not feeling um, high energy you feel as if you're so tired all the time and remember when we feel like that we need to call upon the Sun energy the Sun rays to flow to you and surround you so that the Sun the energy of the source can return your energy and why you're feeling like this is because uh, um, whatever negativity that was coming at you um, because this moon is not a nice moon this moon is your enemies okay but they no longer can affect you okay this is why you have been feeling like this because when people are sending out negative thoughts and energy towards you you can feel this and this is what is going is happening and has been happening and this is why you feel so at such a low energy because sometimes people laugh with you and the rest of it but they don't wish you any good um, I realize that um, your success can be um, your failure because uh, um, you're successful but but no one um, people don't like to see other people su uh, succeed and you and, and and this is one of the biggest problem that we have in the world because a lot of people are eating each other and and I think each and every one of us have a gift and we got this gift to use and nobody wants to use it um, the middle of the week and the crowning of your week is the four of ones this is going to be a very good week it's going to be a week where some people are feeling a stability this man for some people who are leaving a relationship he constantly coming up this week in a reverse form so this is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius and you have a strong foundation against this man this man could have been you know very mentally and verbally abused um, and whoever this person is you have a strong foundation against this person and this is good so for some other people it's going to be um, you know invitation out and that sort of, that's the sort of a thing and it's going to be a blessing in disguise this week remember um, it's a powerful week as you were planning on starting something it's a good week to start the energy of the moon comes out on Thursday I love this moon because this moon is awakening your in your intuition this is a psychic moon that is awakening your psychic ability so a lot of message listen to your intuition feelings because it will be coming up the eye princess is in reverse for whatever reason that means you're not listening to your intuition the eye princess is in reverse and this means you're not listening to your intuition and whenever she comes up in a reverse that mean you are not connecting you're very disconnected so look at and see what is happening on Tuesday because obviously she is here you're very very disconnected in some way and form and we are going to look to see why are you not listening to yourself um, because your energy is in depleted so um, this is what is happening whenever people are eating on us and you know you know nothing positive and that sort of a thing this is what is happening why the eye princess comes up in the reverse form which is that you're not connecting with your guides and angels and someone is sending you really negative energies and trying to break you down 
and you need to call upon the universal angels ask the Sun ray to come in at Archangel Michael for divine protection on Friday a wonderful day you have the nine of Pentacles and the seven of cups the nine of Pentacles and the seven of cups so money is going to be coming in and with this money you're going to use this money to make your dreams come true okay because um, you are have been waiting for this money so you can transform your own life and it is going to happen it is a day of uh, in balancing your emotional situation but yet still it's a positive day if you go out for an interview know that you are going to be receiving the job it is such a positive day for, for business opportunities but yet still if you're studying and you have exam you're going to pass the exam so this is good and this is positive as we move forward on Saturday we have the energy of the devil in the reverse form the energy of the devil in the reverse form it is a sign that whatever um, um, negative energies or whatever people that was trying to block you or hate you for whatever reason it is it has come to an end um, and uh, this king of pentacles stood up for you so um, it can be a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn who really stood up against uh, the devil who stood up against that person and uh, um, really really say no and this is good because um, the the earth sign people are always opening up and helping other people so um, uh, you know this is a time when um, you're going to see that on Sunday you're going to understand certain aspect and why certain behavior Saturday why certain behavior happened and this is going to be showing up as we move forward we have the energy of the eight of wands a lot of message a lot of information about money is coming in if you have a business this is going to soar on Sunday you're going to see um, so much happening a lot of um, orders are going to be happening for your business um, a lot of emails a lot of text messages a lot of communication people wants to contact you people wants to you to do business with them and that sort of a thing and this is going to be extremely positive because you have again the eight of Pentacles so eight and eight so the number 88 you have eight and eight the eight of Pentacles and the eight of one these two cards together are one of the most beautiful and some people don't know that but these two cards together is telling you that money is coming swiftly towards you money is coming swiftly towards you so it, it could be in different ways different fashion um, maybe you got extra work extra promotion it's it's coming down to the end of the year miss maybe you have heard that you are going to receive a bonus so this is going to be good so overall if I look at your week except on Thursday and the only thing that is um, Thursday is because you you feel as if your energy is being depleted because um, it, it, it you know whenever you feel low and most of you on Tuesday is going to feel a bit low and on Thursday um, you're not going to want to listen to your intuition and you need to listen to your intuition because um, your spirit guides and angels are guiding you or your spirit guides are guiding you via your intuition let's look you have the number 8 and 18 8 and 18 and number 9 number 8 18 and the number 9 I am using the wisdom of the Oracle again I know a lot of people will say oh my god she love that deck yes I do love this deck I do I do I do love this deck well, whatever the situation is I do love this deck so let's look and see what is happening for the um, the Aquarians people what message is there never-ending story a never-ending story so when the energy of a never-ending story comes up that means it's like you're thinking oh my god what now <laughs> and 
you know it is a sense where you're thinking people just leave me alone you know it's the same story always over and over and over why don't you just find something else so the never-ending story is self-criticism the wounded ego unnecessary drama and um, a lot of us do unnecessary drama for nothing there is a story woven through the impact impact and improperty from the fabric of life that tells you of hurt and loss rejection humanity self-loathing and suffering born of unnecessary drama it is the old story whose reference that you cannot do this must you not go there shouldn't you say that lest your words come crumbling down today knowing the tone of this is actually true the sky is not falling the voice you hear is just a small squeaky conditional part of that you are stuck want to protect yourself and need to be seen as a victim love that lost piece of you fair is always it's knowing destroying the guidance is preventing you from being true to yourself you're not your story and the narrator is simply the voice of your fearful part small and voluntary and easy to smooth so this is wonderful this is going to be very very um, wonderful despite the never-ending story I know what that is like because trust me whoo there are some people out there so no need to look at them no need to um, listen to them just understand who you are and I'm wishing you a wonderful week namaste till next week